So this morning I'm actually handing the car over to Jess Rich, who's a pro snowboarder. She's been in the Olympics, the Pyeongchang in the big air. And um, it's gonna be really exciting to hand over the car to her and see what she gets up to for a few missions. Our first mission today is to Charlotte Pass and I'm picking up Pacha Light who's uh, on the QS series uh, tour for surfing. Um, and we're gonna go out and see if she can get the perfect power turn. Um, she hasn't really done much boarding before, but we're hoping it's the perfect conditions to go and have a sick day. I don't know how to drive an auto. Oh, how are you? Good morning. It looks great. Good morning. All right, so this isn't your first time snowboarding. Oh yeah, I've been like once before. And was that, you said Japan? Um, yeah, in um, Whistler in Canada. Oh, sick. Yeah, 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 I had like two days. That's where I pretty much learned to snowboard. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, Whistler. sick. And so how's things for you now? Do you, are you just training at home? Yeah, yeah, just like shifting the focus a little bit more and trying to get on a lot of different boards and um, just, I guess, getting into the whole lifestyle of it. It's been amazing, you know, you surf, surf for the fun and it's cool to, I don't know, not feel like put too much on yourself when you go for a surf, you're like, okay, it's fine. Like, yeah, it's not no feeling like yeah. you're training for anything yeah, in particular. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I found like when I was competing a lot, it was hard because snowboarding is obviously like my number one passion, but yeah. it's also my job. To yeah. And so it's hard to like, remember that why you love it and everything when you've got mm -hmm. such a like a strong goal in your head like mine was the Olympics and yeah. you know every morning I'd wake up and go and be like how can I do better today yeah how can I you know do something that's gonna make me stand out and do you find you have the same thing with surfing or do you just paddle out and forget all of that and it's just yeah it's um it's definitely like a lot of lots of proof like whatever lineup you kind of you put those expectations on yourself and you know that's how you and you push boundaries is by yeah shooting beyond what you think could you could yeah. do it's just like yeah and you're living close to where I am right now so I'm in Lennox and you're in Yamba yeah, is that right? yeah yeah exactly and you grew up there or yeah I learned to surf there um, in the very very like secluded beaches so it's classic to um, we moved back up to the Gold Coast to take care of my grandma and um, had to adjust with you know surfing with the crowd and like I trained just boys and yeah. kind of got the competitive like hunger definitely yeah. there and so I moved back to a um, quiet little town and um, it's nice to slot back into this yeah relaxed sort of surfing feel. <laughs> it's almost 6 30 and we're just uh, putting our boots on to head over to the oversnow to head up to Charlotte's Pass. That's the temperature. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm excited. The temperature is fun. <laughs> so I'm just reading this fact and it said Charlotte's Pass is uh, the coldest resort and it's clocked uh, a record low of minus 23 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know any of this. And they're my fun facts. <laughs> <laughs> it's just okay, thanks. <laughs> 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 that looks beautiful, it's done down. We go! Oh, oh no, nah, no service. We're out here. Mom, come pick me up. <laughs> um, so we're here at Charlotte's and the sun's coming out. We're just going to go do a little bit of a warm up before we head up to T-Bar and then we're going to try and find some stashes of snow. I feel my heart racing a little bit. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Woo! Yep, so exciting. So stoked. Heat! And woo, I'll go down there because <laughs> there is a river there. <laughs> Let's do it! All right. 
Right, so our first mission is getting up the T bars. Both of these guys are taking on probably the gnarliest T bar for their first try. But I reckon they can do it. I'm not too worried. Should be pretty fun. <laughs> Actually, I was more nervous on the first run, so you guys saw me at my worst. It's pretty sick. Yeah. Look at the view. It's like oh. insane. What? Just look! Oh my goodness! <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Hey guys, come visit us at Charles Park. Margaritas and pina coladas. <laughs> it feels like kind of surreal. Yeah, yeah it doesn't definitely doesn't feel real. Definitely, we definitely know. Yeah. It's so good. I'm so I'm a bit thirsty. It's like a sandwich, but it's water. What do you mean? It's so good. Zero calories. <laughs> Alright, Jess Cam. Um, everything's going so well. My name's Duncan. Ski patrol from uh, Duncan. Yeah, H, uh, can we get a cascade just to the top of the pommer? You ever had this thing called Green Whistle before? No. Really? Weird, foul tasting drug that's gonna take all your pain away and put you in a really happy place in your lungs. Really deep, yep. Whoops! So, unfortunately, our winter mission has ended here at Kuma Hospital, but, um, you know, these things happen on the hill and it's super unfortunate, but we're still in good spirits. Yeah, um, just a little, little break, little fracture. It's my first one, so it's kind of <laughs> exciting. I was told <laughs> no signatures on it, so it's a good tip. <laughs> no but, signatures um, on the car. Yeah, definitely be back out there. We'll do some more turns. Yeah. Maybe in the water next time. <laughs> yeah, next time we'll be surfing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. We'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> Thanks.